Managing a patient on mechanical ventilation requires quick thinking, clinical expertise, and a thorough understanding of ventilator alarms. These alarms are designed to alert clinicians to potential issues that could compromise a patient's ventilation and oxygenation. When these alarms activate, especially in critical situations, it's essential to determine whether the problem lies with the patient, the ventilator, or the circuit. As a respiratory therapist, you must know how to respond to the situation. Which is why we created this video to break down a practice question on this very topic. So if you're ready, let's get into the question. A 68-year-old female patient is receiving volume-controlled assist-controlled ventilation. During your assessment, both the low tidal volume and high pressure limit alarm sound with each inspiration. In this case, what should you do first? A. Increase the preset tidal volume by 100 milliliters and reassess. B. Seek further instruction from the attending physician. C. Disconnect the patient and provide manual ventilation with an FiO2 of 100%. Or D. Check the full patient ventilator system for leaks and malfunctions. Do you know the answer? Well, let's break it down. When faced with ventilator alarms, your first priority is to ensure that the patient is being adequately ventilated and oxygenated. Alarms indicating low tidal volume and high pressure suggest a problem with the ventilator circuit or the patient's airway, such as an obstruction, increased resistance, or reduced lung compliance. If the ventilator cannot deliver the set tidal volume, the patient is at risk of hypoventilation and hypoxemia. Therefore, immediate action must ensure adequate ventilation and oxygenation. When ventilator issues arise, disconnecting the patient and providing manual ventilation with 100% FiO2 is the safest first step. This prevents delays in treatment while you troubleshoot the underlying issue. After ensuring the patient is stable, then you can examine the ventilator and circuit for possible causes, such as kinks, obstructions, or equipment malfunctions. Increasing the tidal volume is not appropriate because it does not address the root cause of the alarms and could worsen the situation if resistance or compliance issues exist. While consulting with the physician is essential, it is not the immediate first step when alarms are sounding and the patient's ventilation is compromised. In this case, troubleshooting is necessary. However, it must occur after the patient is stabilized with manual ventilation. So in summary, in cases where ventilator alarms are signaling potential patient compromise, your first action should always be to ensure that the patient is safely ventilated along with adequate oxygenation. Manual ventilation with 100% FiO2 is the safest and most effective initial response. Once the patient is stabilized, then you can proceed with identifying and resolving the cause of the ventilator alarms, which means that the correct answer has to be C. Disconnect the patient and provide manual ventilation with an FiO2 of 100%. If you enjoy practice questions like this, definitely consider checking out our TMC test bank. It's a massive bank of practice questions with helpful explanations like this one that students are using to pass the TMC exam. It also comes with multiple mock TMC practice exams to help you test your knowledge and prepare for the real thing. If you're interested, I'll drop a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more, including some premium bonuses that are included for a limited time. You can also consider signing up to receive daily TMC practice questions directly to your inbox each morning when you wake up. This is one of the most effective strategies to learn every topic that's required to earn a passing score. Again, if you're interested, check out the links below in the description. But real quick, if you don't mind, please drop a like on this video and subscribe to support the channel. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. 
Have a nice day and thanks for watching.